What's up everybody? Jason Rains, Remax Elite Realtors, and your Casey Seller here, coming at you with another video this week. Guys, uh, this one's gonna be a little bit different. We typically focus on um, neighborhoods or cities, or we do uh, talking videos where we're really talking to the buyers um, about market and what they need to do to get our contract. This one's gonna be a little bit different this week. This week we're talking to the sellers. So stick around to find out what I got to say. All right, here we go, you guys. This one is all about you sellers today and what you need to do to market your home specifically. All right, again, I'm Jay Strains, your case to sell three Max Elite Realtors. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome. I need you two things. I need you to hit that subscription button, and then you click the notification button so you're notified every single time I post a new video. That's every Tuesday, every Saturday. This channel is all about what it's like to live, work, eat, play, sleep in Kansas City all about real estate, what's going on, neighborhoods, cities, anything you guys think of, question and answers, um, what's going on with the market, anything you can think of, that's what this channel is all about. So if that's what you're looking for, you know what to do. Subscribe, click that notification bell. All right, guys, uh, again, before we get into it, I am a licensed agent in the state of Kansas and the state of Missouri. I would love to help you find your next home, or if you're just looking to sell here and move out of state, love to help you sell your home here and then refer you to another fantastic agent in whichever city you are moving to, okay? All my contact information is below. Shoot me a text, send me an email, give me a call, whatever. Just reach out and I got your back, okay? So like I said, um, <clears throat> to start off this video, this one's directed more towards you sellers out there, okay? So in a previous video, we talked about um, marketing as far as like, doing professional uh, photos, um, getting the listing price right, uh, staging the property, things along those lines, doing minor cosmetic repairs, maybe doing a, a pre-inspection so you're not surprised um, when, the, when you go under contract and the buyer does an inspection. And that's all great. That, that all is a part of marketing, but this is more like <clears throat> the that's like the specifics. This is the, the overall, hey, what is the marketing strategy here to, to get your house to find um, specific buyers in your area, okay? And I've shared this with a couple of people recently and um, they were kind of surprised I shared it with them. And they, they asked me, they were like, aren't you afraid that someone else is just gonna do these same things? And really I'm not because I can tell other agents what I do, and at the end of the day, I, I still don't think they'll do it. Um, so I don't really care to share it. Hey, you know what? If, if they take my ideas and they improve upon them or they do the same things and it works for them, that's great, right? Um, a little off topic here, just it's more about the, having that abundance mindset. I'm not worried if another agent takes my ideas and does them and gets some business out of it. Not a big deal. I literally cannot help everyone that needs help in real estate like just me individually there's I, I can't help every single person looking to move or buy uh, move or sell right so I I don't care if another agent takes the idea and runs with it right so um, when we when we get down into this topic um, there's different things that are done at different steps um, of where the home is right um, those steps are coming soon Right? This is before the house is even on the market. It's coming soon, okay? So there's steps in the coming soon process. There's steps um, when the house is just listed. Um, if we're doing an open house, maybe, maybe not do an open house. Just kind of depends on that specific property, that's what that specific seller wants to do. Um, <clears throat> you know, is it, does it lend itself time-wise right to have an open house? Uh, then we're under contract still need to market when you're under contract. You don't know if that deal is going to go through or not. 
And then on the back side, um, we, we market um, sold once the house sells too, right? Just letting the area know, hey, this is what the house went for. Um, if there's anything we can do to help, let us know, right? Um, each one of those categories, we're really focusing on five sets of people within each of those five categories. Now, the five, while the, while the categories themselves change from the coming soon, just listed, open house, under contract, sold, those change. The five sets of people stay the same. So again, the, the five groups of people that we are marketing to, there's different things done in each one of those groups, right? So whether we're talking about our sphere of influence or we're talking about our past clients or we're talking about the neighbors or the general public, it just kind of depends. Now, some of the ideas overlap each other. For example, we might do a social media post for uh, our sphere of influence and the general public, right? Like those might overlap and be the same post for each group, um, but there's other things done as well. So, you know, you got social media posts. Um, we have putting the information in our new, uh, weekly newsletter that goes out to a thousand plus people every single week. We have direct, direct text messaging. We have direct emails uh, outside of the weekly newsletter that goes out. Um, we have paid social media ads. Uh, we have postcards going to the closest, you know, 200 plus people or going to the whole neighborhood. Um, and we do that at different steps throughout that process, right? So that might be the coming soon and the just listed and the sold portion. Um, or uh, we also have calling people, right? Um, just calling, calling all the neighbors in that neighborhood. We have access to uh, software that provides us phone numbers of people in the neighborhood. And it's not to just call and see if they want to buy your house. I just, they're already your neighbor. Maybe they love your house and they think about moving. It's, it's not so much about getting them to buy your home. It's you don't know who they might know that wants to move into your neighborhood, right? And that's why we do the emails, we do the texts, we do the postcards, we do the phone calls, we do the paid social media ads so that everyone in that area knows your house is getting ready to go on the market or it's just been listed, right? Doing that and, and doing that multifaceted marketing approach really ensures that everyone knows that your house is coming on the market. And like I said, you just don't know who might know who that's looking to move, right? So, and then when you take uh, all this multifaceted approach of the emails, the calls, the newsletters, the email, the emails, the postcards, like the paid social media ads, you take all this together and, and you send it out to the five groups of different people that we talked about. And then you multiply that by the five different categories of times that we reach out to people. Just think about the, the overall reach that your property is getting, right? And then when we take that marketing approach and we pair it with the things that we talked about in the other videos, the listing your house at the correct price, the hiring, making sure a professional photographer is hired, um, getting a stager uh, to come at least give you advice, if not professionally staged the property and hiring the correct agent, um, you, you pair all of this with all of that and that's how you ensure that in a shifting market that your house still sells for top dollar, right? So, um, you know, hopefully you guys found this information helpful today. Um, hopefully you learned something from it. Maybe you knew part of it, maybe you knew none of it. Um, but if you're looking to sell here in Kansas City, or really th this advice really pl applies to, to anywhere, any market that you're selling. Even if you're, even if you're watching this channel uh, because you're thinking about moving to Kansas City and you're like, man, I need to sell my house in Arizona or Texas or Iowa or wherever, this information uh, directed to sellers still applies to you in whatever state you're in, okay? Um, again, if you're looking to move here, I would love to help. If you're looking to sell your property in a different state before you move here, you guys, I'm seriously tied in with the best agents in every market across the entire United States. So like I said at the beginning, just reach out, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, whatever, just reach out. Let me know what your situation is. If you need a recommendation on um, someone to help you sell your house outside of the area, I would love to provide that recommendation to you. 
If you're locally and looking to move locally, I would love to help you on both sides. Or if you're just looking to move here, again, I would love to help. Just reach out, know I got your back. Until the next video, have a good day.